is crappy. Cute little parts. Hey, what you guys doing? Don't be getting all them seedy things all over you guys. Hey dogs, come back here please. Yep, that's a pond full of ducks. So if the uh, <coughs> image is a little off there, I'm still trying to reset the camera. Hey guys, come back here please. Stuck? Okay, wait a minute guys. Let's see if we can... You guys entertain yourselves while I go tend to the dogs. And don't break the camera and keep your fingers off the lens, audience. I mean, you, can, you, you can put it on on, on your screen and print that out, but...
Come on, over here. Well, that seems to be working out just fine. We'll just let the camera roll. So, uh, yeah, geez, it was just about time for a state of a... State of the, uh... Common Communication Cooperative Union address. Oh, uh, hmm. well, what can we say? We seem to have started off September and ended December, uh, or September and ended August very well. Uh, seem to, uh, We seem to have effectively expressed our um, <clears throat> non-authorization, our deauthorization of this ongoing kinetic military action that uh, <clears throat> the Roman troops are uh, engaged in in the Middle East. Uh, let's see if we can get you some more. You guys, you gotta stay here, please. Yeah, the crew's a little rusty. And uh, my hat's off to those that uh, instigated or and and, and um, proceeded with the uh, "just say no to war, not in my name" campaign. I use the words "campaign" loosely because you know it just. <clears throat> sprung up as a community effort, not an organized campaign, which is the only way to do things. <clears throat> a lot less room for corruption that way. And I see uh, mainstream media was quick to join in, as were the bigger uh, commercialized outfits on uh, YouTube, like Elks Jones Channel and R2, R, uh, RT. Wow, that's pretty quick. Don't go anywhere, guys. And uh, as far as improvised networking device, well, <clears throat> I don't know. Everybody seems to putter out real quick and forget all about it. Hopefully you're not all just resigning to paying bribes. Because, like, um, that's total bullshit. And that's a race to the bottom, as we all know. And I'm sure those that have already done it already know. They pretend like they're hiring a bunch of um, decommissioned Filipino prostitutes by uh, 
paying this bribe as though they're sitting there clicking it all day when in reality no it's just some corrupt little um, Zionist double agent chill bastard in YouTube that goes in the back and you know <clears throat> puts in his data chip and and away the scam happens you're not hiring some little Filipino for a girl for two dollars a day to sit there and click on your YouTube guys or order the premium click and paste the comment uh, <coughs> here you, you that that's part of the scam no no you you were just paying some little rogue NSA shill to cheat you twice and cheat YouTube and all the YouTube advertisers and weaken the whole thing structure and Because, well, just try doing business once uh, there's no trust left. Uh, it's generally the death stroke to many a big corporation. Which is fine, I mean, the pieces of junk that had uh, taken over YouTube several times now and were installed to be the big, well, whatever. <clears throat> They clearly are as loyal as their uh, bonus and had Zionist amalgamation agenda in mind and not YouTube employees or the infrastructure's survivability and viability in the future. So, you know, that's fine, okay? And anyone that went along with it and decided to play the useful idiot, well, fine, that's, that's your career, you screwed yourself out of in your years of service to YouTube, but uh, to those that actually wanted a future, well, you know, same thing stands, don't worry. There's two defaults, well, three default stands. Somebody EMPs it, one of your competitors like Fox or NBC or whatever, or something out of the future and shuts down your servers and makes you go bankrupt just at a sensitive stock trading time or we bank we partners we data investors hold you to account and bankrupt you in a class action lawsuit more so if it's launched at a share uh, price adjustment uh, confluence Or, you know, the least likely of those is, uh, you all get your heads out of your ass, you get some real management. <clears throat> That's actually, um, loyal to the corporation and, and, and the declared mission they're signed on to, and, uh, loyal to all its investors. That's us, as well as the viewers. And they proceed to turn it into the super prosperous business it could be to where, you know, they're saying, no, no, we want servers custom made this way uh, because we're going to use it on space missions and it's got to be robust and uh, we're going to use it on, you know, being, being the archive, the turn archive of the future and we need stuff to send out on our data arcs and life arcs and and while we all know the biggest prize with the entire Google complex it's the AI programming that comes out of it. If you're gonna try and simulate humans. Hey, hey, hey! Come on guys, get back here please! <clears throat> you're gonna have to have a tremendous personality based on what humans do and how they think and how they communicate to base that first community of interactive lifelike cyborg humanoids on that's that's the real gem which we've been knowingly or not giving to the entire end. the entire internet 
while I am printing our personalities. And of course there's the fourth thing which I think we'll pretty well put in a run on. As uh, I've mentioned before in video and whatnot. Well, you know, just just like the the uh, Utah Data Bluff Center, well, you know, instantly flip this button and then flip that button and it no longer serves YouTube, but it now serves uh, an RFID cyber chip cache system, you know, the control grid, like uh, Aaron Russo spoke of. With his experience when he was approached by the um, Rockefeller there. I don't know, was it David? Maybe not. Maybe it was one of the old, more corrupt ones. Hey, hey guys! Well, anyhow, um... Hey guys, get back up here, please! Quack! Uh, and, um, well done. Keep going in whatever capacity you uh, feel serves you best. And you know, remember, the way we're going to build this is by example and awareness. Maybe we can get a better shot, seeing how we're over here. Hey, then my system should be up and running in a few days. A lot more luck and ready for the next attack. Right, well, oh, hey, peace out and uh, good work, everyone. Oh, and I guess I, I, I absolutely have to uh, make a kudos mention to um, John Oko Lennon and Yoko Ono Lennon. That, oop, did I say that right? I think um, I think I actually did, and you know, names are really hard for me, especially human names. Um, so uh, there you go, because really, um, not my name, as far as I can tell, is, is a very worthy uh, carry-on of, uh, shall we say, the next phase of uh, um, you two characters uh, give peace a chance thingy, which was, you know, what, back in... 79, 78. Um, brain's a little rusty right now, but maybe it was in response to the Falklands. Overall, as well as the, all the other warmongering that was going on at the time. But anyhow, we won't get into history lessons. I just want to say thank you very much, John and Oko. <clears throat> it wasn't a waste of effort at all. You know, some seeds, some seeds just take a little longer, eh? All right, hey, and see, look at all these seeds, sticky seeds, all over your fur. Hey guys, yeah, well, stay tuned. Uh, sorry, I still haven't done that. Um, explaining the uh, local interstellar cloud. Interaction with the hel heliosphere or uh, astrosphere, and I also haven't, which is also going to probably be the same one with the uh, plasma balls demonstrating, uh, well, you know, why we have so few sunspots on the Earth side. Hey, there you go. Yeah, crude demonstration, you know, we're not going to get into dry math or anything. More of a visual representation, but using real live plasma. All right, well, peace out.